One of the people predicting a tough year for munis is analyst Meredith Whitney. You'll recall she gained fame back in 2007 for alerting investors to the troubles at Citigroup. These days, Whitney is focusing on munis, and she says there will be as many as 100 significant muni bond defaults this coming year, totaling hundreds of billions of dollars. It's a bold call for sure, but one Bloomberg columnist, Joe Mysack, says is overreaching. Fabulous is in the stuff of fables and possibly even dead wrong. Joe is here on the inside track. Uh, Joe, you're here to bring a little bit of sanity to the conversation. Why do you believe Meredith Whitney will ultimately be proved wrong? Well, I think the, uh, the hundreds of billions is, first of all, like I said, it's fabulous. It's a, it's a fantastic number. Uh, but second of all, there's really no reason for municipalities and governments to embrace bond default. It's it's sort of it's an absurdity. The municipal bond Why? market because they would ultimately be the, locked out of the, the market. The municipal bond market is one of the things that's going to save them. They're going to have to refinance or they're going to restructure or they're going to have to borrow more money. In extreme cases they might even do deficit financings. If they default, uh, they block themselves out of the market, and but, people aren't going to forget. But, Joe, some people would say that a restructuring is tantamount to a default. No, I'm, I'm talking about things like refinancing and refundings and things like that, not default. I see. And you're also making the point that we're not talking about the biggest municipal issuers either, are we? Well, uh, she says, no, the states are not going to default. All right, so if you take the states out, Who what you do you have? With? You have cities, counties, towns, uh, you know, smaller places, villages. Some people argue, though, and Meredith Whitney is certainly in this camp, that at a certain point, the pressure is going to become not just unrelenting but intolerable, that tax revenues are going to be so insufficient, uh, or revenue, whatever form it takes, whether it's not uh, you know, general tax revenue, but it may be specific tax revenue tied to a project, whatever it happens to be, a sewer bond, will be so insufficient that uh, you will be left with no choice but to default. I take it your opinion is that there are, are choices other than default. Yes, there are lots of choices. Plus, you know, we do see taxes, uh, tax revenue is rising over the last several months. So the, some of the pressure is going to come off. Sarah is going to come in here with a question. Yeah, Joe, Joe, also, can you talk a little bit about the state and local localities' attitudes toward default? I mean, they take their finances pretty, pretty seriously, don't they? Uh, well, default is the dirty word in municipal finance. They don't, uh, it's not something they take lightly. It's not something that's even on the table. It's something that they will avoid at all costs. And one of the reasons is because it uh, means loss of political control, if you will. All of a sudden, creditors start stepping up and, and it gets very messy very quickly. Joe, I want to raise a point that you have raised in the past, but which isn't in your current column, and that has to do with transparency. Why shouldn't the municipal market take it upon itself to add some clarity to this conversation and make people fully aware of just exactly what their liabilities are in a complete sense, as opposed to the perhaps most narrow definition of the term? Well, actually, I think that municipalities are quite transparent in uh, all their... But then their... why do so many people say that municipalities hide their obligations? What, what you're having right now in this market is a wave of inexpert testimony. So you have people like Meredith Whitney and various bloggers getting a lot of attention, and the people in the municipal market who actually do know what's going on, for example, a, a fellow I quoted in my column today from Fitch, uh, they're... Who's been either, at it for more than 30 years, right? right? They're ignored or not ignored they just don't get as much headlines out. because they're sitting trying to tell a more nuanced story than the narrative which is that we're facing a big municipal market crack up all right joe you know what we'll have to have is a meredith whitney joe mizek smackdown here on the inside track for the time being it's a take that meredith whitney from bloomberg columnist joe mizek on the subject of munis and whether there will or won't be a wave of defaults adding up to hundreds of billions of dollars.